Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Unleashed. And today we're gonna take a trip into the nether and I'm gonna build a little bit on this little thing here. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when I'm done with my nether time lapse. something and I'm not sure what it is. Bears. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Alright guys, another quick update here. I'm starting work on this power station. It's got uh, MFE and a bat box. There's a transformer under this crafting table. And I just got these four basic machines set up. An induction furnace over here. Uh, I made it. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it because it takes a while to heat up. Anyway, it's be the MFE is being powered by these solar panels and some water mills down here. And surprisingly, the water mills actually work pretty well for just like constant power. I think I might add more of those in the future. Have just a giant grid. But, uh, yeah, I like this view here. This is Tinker's Construct Clear Glass, which I love. I love the connected textures they have. Ooh, a gift? Ooh, give me, give me. Oh, so amazing! Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Sweet. But, uh,. Yeah, basically, uh, I'm just gonna divide this in half. This is gonna be for EU power, and then this is gonna be MJ power. So I can distribute it to, like, through Tesseracts and stuff. Uh, over there to the Mob Grinder, and then wherever else I want. Uh, yeah, so, see you in a bit. Alright guys, Alright guys. so it's taken me a really long time, but I've set up the mob spawner and this power station. The building isn't done yet, but uh, yeah, we got EU here, then we got uh, these power cells so filled up with uh, my 
all my machines. I uh, was processing some stuff, so I'm gonna cook that up. All right, so this is the maintenance floor. <laughs> oh man, there is so much. Uh, just wow. I mean, there's definitely there's gotta be better ways of doing this. Um, I wonder. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to do this, but uh, I figured it out eventually. This still is pretty inefficient, but basically there's a solar panel up there charging these electrical engines, which is sending power to the magma crucible, which is making, which is smelting the netherrack into lava, which is going into these combustion engines, which is also being fed with water so they don't explode. And then that is going to this line, filling up this energy cell, and then this energy cell fills up this energy cell, which fills up all my machines. And that's about it. <laughs> with the other thing, it's with the EU power, it's literally just water mills. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see. Let's go over to the mob spawner now. It's also pretty inefficient. I'm sure there's got to be better ways of doing it. But basically, I have a drops chest here. Um, sending drops. There's a reason why I have so much rotten flesh compared to all the other stuff. Uh, basically, these conveyors, uh, once the auto spawner spawns whatever's in here, it they spawn and then they get funneled down here, where this grinder would kill you, would, would kill the mob. So this is the... This is all this. Basically, there's another grinder here with a zombie spawner that I moved from a, a different location using, uh, I don't know, do I have it? Yeah, this gravity gun, it can move blocks. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> so, they, yeah, that's it. I got power running from... A uh, solar panel up there. Then we got the mob essence going into um, these tanks, which, and then that gets sent up to the auto spawner. So that's really it. The uh, items get moved to this chest, which are moved up into the crystal chest, and that's. Pretty much it. Uh, what is this? Oh, amber. All right. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. This episode took me so long to record, so I hope. Please, uh, like, comment, subscribe. This took way longer than I expected it to, but uh, you know whatever I don't know if I'm actually gonna do this base idea it uh I might just do an above ground thing but this might be I'll implement this somehow but I'm not exactly sure how I will so yeah I'll have a video up sometime don't I have no idea it's summer now so I'm very happy about that um beautiful blue eyes. I'm about to go and do some yard work, so yeah. I hope you have a yeah. Alright. I hope you have a good day and bye bye.